Okay, well, we have a very large number of African-American patients. Now, for a long time, uh, African-American patients did not come for uh, infertility treatment or IVF. Uh, sociologists can try to answer that question. I don't know the answer to it. But for a long time, you just didn't see very many African-American patients. And I don't know what the experience is of IVF centers, but I would say probably at least 30, 40 percent of our patients are African-American now. And uh, I don't, there's just no difference whatsoever, except we all know uh, that in, in that group, there is a higher incidence of fibroids. Uh, everybody gets fibroids, uh, but uh, it's a higher incidence in African-Americans and, and uh, Caucasians or Asians. Um, but we can take care of that. We can fix that. In fact, we're masters at that. Adenomyosis is one of our great specialties. These very difficult uh, types of tumors of the uterus were masters at. You can check that out on the website. But I, I really don't, other than that, I, I really don't see uh, any racial difference at all. And uh, we have a, a huge number of uh, African-American uh, patients. Uh, I don't know why that is. Uh, maybe, maybe it's because something personal in my own history that uh, uh, I'm known as being this uh, incredible microsurgeon. And uh, I, I do operations that other people can't do. And I've always told people uh, that that came from my training from an African-American janitor at the University of Michigan Medical Center Surgery Department, who was just a genius. And uh, he took me under his wing, and uh, his name is Jimmy Crudup. He's 95 now, and uh, he's still alive, living in Mississippi, incredible human being. And he taught me everything I know about surgery because he was just a natural at it. So... Maybe since that's well known in the African-American community, maybe that's one reason we have uh, such a huge number. Um, so, uh, but the other question is, uh, so that's why you, you probably don't see that many uh, photos uh, because uh, it, it's, it's a private issue for many people. We have so many happy stories. I mean, many multiple thousands and thousands of happy stories, but, um, uh, most patients don't want to, want this to be totally private and they don't want to do a review on Facebook or Google. And so the cases that you see where they reviewed are, are, are always going to be a minority of, uh, of the cases, actually. So it's not going to necessarily represent the whole population. But it, it must just be an issue of, uh, of whether... Uh, the couple feels comfortable telling their infertility story or not. And that's how they decide whether to talk about it.